Moreover, the Lord answered Job and said, Shall we contend with the Almighty and instruct him? He that reproved with God, let him answer him. Then Job answered the Lord and said, Behold, I am vile. What shall I answer thee? I will lay my hand upon my mouth. Once I have spoken, I will not further answer, yeah, twice, but I will proceed no further. Then answered Job, uh, the Lord unto Job out of the whirlwind and said, Gird up thy loins now like a man, I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Will thou disannul my judgment? Will thou condemn me, and thou mayest be righteous? Hast thou an arm like God, or canest thou thunder a voice like him? Deck thyself now with majesty and excellency, and array thyself with glory and beauty. Canest thou abroad the range of thy wrath? Then behold every one that is proud and abase him. Look on every one that is proud and bring him low, and tread down the wicked in their place. Hide them in the dust together and bind their faces in secret. Then I will also confess unto thee that thine own right hand can save thee. Kaba o mio. Behold, now, now, bemoweth which I made thee. He eateth grass and ox. Lo, his strength is in his loins, and his force is in the navel of his belly. He moveth his tail like a cedar, and in his sinews his stones are wrapped together. His bones are as strong pieces of brass, his bones are like bars of iron. He is the chief of the ways of God. He made him and can make his sword to approach unto him. Surely the mountains being bring him forth fruit, food where all the beasts of the field play. He lieth under shady tree, the covert of reed and fence. The shady trees cover him with their shadows, and the willows of the rock the, the brook can pass him about. Behold, he drinketh up a river, and hasteneth not. He trusteth that he can draw up Jordan unto his mouth. He taketh with his eyes his noise, noise piercing through snares.